ladies and gentlemen, my name is Moke Kemoke Modo Stephen Ntokubo, Reverend Father from Okbo in the New South Local Government of Anambra State. Well, today is the first business conference dinner of Joy Clinic Foundation, First Act Lagos. The Joy Clinic Foundation is an institute that was brought to existence through my instrumentality in collaboration with my friend and colleague, Father Frank Mary, who assisted me to give birth to this institute, Joy Clinic, an institute of conflict resolution marriage crisis resolution and the business crisis management human integration counseling and prayer and direction so this is a, uh, the first official business dinner conference that we just had in order to continue the activities of the foundation my mission and vision for this foundation joy clinic is to empower the businessmen, empower the married, empower those who have lost focus to bounce back through the process of empowerment, through knowledge, the word of God, and to direct people who have all forms of crisis, especially in business. Normally, in our society, people who have business crisis, often they don't find healthy assistance from pastors around. They fall into the hands of those who will put them into deeper crisis. Most still, people will take them around and uh, accuse the devil of being the source of their problem and get them do nasty things. We we'll manage their crisis. We we'll find out what the problem is. We 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 accompany them out of their challenge through counseling, through prayers, through guidance, through inspiration, through association, associating them with people who do better than they are in the same line of business. So we create an avenue. We form a forum, Joy Clinic Foundation, where people from different points of view of life meet and they, they help themselves. So here, to come out of their challenge. Those also have marriage crisis problem. We go to the asset of visiting them in their house, inviting them down to our clinic, in our office for consultation. So we have consultations on Thursday morning. If you come here, within the three months of operation, the, it has gone viral. People come here. We stay in the office. This will tell you the volume of crisis going on in the city. And when they narrate to you the experiences in the hands of fake pastors, you, you will be forced to sit down and use your philosophy and theology and religion to guide them throughout of their mess. So this is my vision to create that rich man that knows God and superlatively rich without selling his hands in uh, uh, one or two satanic ways just to prove to the world that it is possible that the Lord can bless and bless just not just blessing but bless in abundance so this is our vision and goal and may the Lord help us accomplish it uh, being a, a, a Catholic priest I know that a, a foundation like this uh, uh, we will create a, 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 a what do you call it um, controversy so what are you doing being a person a priest who is studying here in Lagos and doing my language course in German and then uh, being a student and I'm uh, putting my, uh, my, my talent into use I'm following my passion the success we recorded I didn't know that this number of people will begin to follow me just in a very short space of time because based on what they see. I didn't use any other magic but I use the truth. Christ who is the truth. So I believe that the church should uh, uh, support me and uh, create some awareness. I don't uh, 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 expect them to just begin to clap for me. I expect them if they want to question me, let them bring me closer and find out what I have. If what I have is good and uh, is a vision that is noble, let them support me. But I really like uh, criticism that is not founded. 
send somebody who has crisis, business crisis to me. That is what I need from the church. Let them bring those who have business crisis to me and listen to them after three or two months. I, I am proud to say it. I know many who are so wretched that I feed them. Even as a student, I give them money for food. But now they are driving cars. Now they are living on their own. They pay their bills. Just a guidance. Give a man a guide and he will do better than he's doing. But a person who has no mentor, a person who has no guide, will definitely make a lot of mistakes. So I believe for the church to support me. This is not a parish. The foundation is independently. We have people from uh, different denominations coming here. We have Muslims. We have uh, uh, other evils. People converting from uh, 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 African traditional religion coming up because they believe here we tell people the truth. We give the message that is directly from God. We don't concoct things and speak in the name of God. So this is why I know that the church is very happy with me. Of course, the Archbishop of Lagos, I, I wrote down clearly everything about the foundation I gave to him. So anytime he calls me, I will always give account of what is happening here. Of course, we don't celebrate Mass here. We don't do anything extraordinary. We only hold counseling. We only hold conferences. We only pray for people and direct them. That's all. So the church is, I know the church will be happy when her priest is doing exactly something that is in line with the evangelization of the people in the world. It is time for the church now to go to the people in their own terms and grapple with them and step up the challenge because many are creeping out going to the wrong place. So we need them to be tracked and brought back to the church. We encourage the church to help us in whatever way. We openly encourage the government. Whatever they can offer to us, we need governmental assistance, funds in order to provide for those. There are people under scholarship here in this foundation from our land. There are people of different uh, uh, situation that we have been able to help within these few months of our existence. So I believe the government and the church should join hands and promote Joy Clinic Foundation where the people of God and the Nigerian people are supposed to get the light for the next and future generation. Thank you. I can see the future field with hope and blessings only in the house of a man with vision and plan. Amen. If you have no vision, if you have no plan, there is no better future for you, no matter how much you pray. This is very simple. And right then we ask, what does it mean to plan? And the answer comes, to plan simply means to pay atten attention to God's pattern and method, using the opportunities of today to prepare for a better tomorrow. Amen. Using the lessons of the past, we are called to participate actively in the making of our destiny because those without plan are like the five foolish men in the scripture without oil in their lamps. They became slaves to others. Hence, if you live a life that is unplanned, you do not plan your life, you become a slave to others who have strategy. Failure to prepare for the future is already a preparation for failure. The mission of this uh, Joy Clinic Foundation is aimed at reintegrating people. Human integration is aimed at people that have made mistakes in life, who may have gone into occultic practices. They are looking for solution to their problem. So when they come to us, we carry them through processes to be able to renounce those forces that they may have brought into their lives and to reconnect them to Jesus, which is the primary purpose of which Jesus came to the earth, to reconcile us to his Father. And part of it also is to settle marriage crisis. A lot of people, uh, marriages are suffering today. So when such cases are reported to us, we look into it, we call the, pa the partners together, talk to them, and, uh, and many cases have been settled. Thanks to the gift God has given to us, 
my brother, our father, still be working on that. My very self, we have settled a lot of cases. There is also the uh, um, settle of business crisis. People that have crisis in their businesses, businesses that used to be progressive, all of a sudden they start to crumble. We have a deep research into what is the reason for the crumbling of such a business. Is it based on the strategy we are using? Is it something that has to do with maybe forces beyond what we see in the physical? When we try to settle such cases to make sure that people are lifted up once again to a level of prosperity that they have never experienced, even beyond the one for which they fall from. So these are part of the uh, goal and the mission of this Joy Clinic Foundation. And we also involve in counseling, prayer and counseling for people. We try to draw them closer to God, like I said. So we are friends, part of the place where there are so many other things that we look into. Thank you, and God bless you. If you know your God, if you know your God, the God of Joy Clinic, nobody can sit on our promotion. And I declare on all of us here this evening, nobody can sit on your promotion. That person that is sitting in your promotion, Uncle Raja and Ike. Amen. The Lord will burn his ask you to fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will pray to me in the name of Jesus. In growing spiritually, there are different stages. God is not interested in lavishing his gift on you. You may take so many years within a particular level. If God has not seen within your heart that you are waiting for the next level, there's what we call a wilderness experience. God pushes you into the wilderness. Remember, Moses stayed about 40 years in the wilderness before he was qualified to hear from God and go back to save the Israelite. When you motivate them to have the kind of vision you have, they will be geared towards achieving that same vision with you. So they walk the same way you walk, even better than you sometimes. There are people like that. And then when you get them into the work, you put your plan into place, at the end of the work that has been done, you will sit down together and review the result of what you have gotten. It is true line to find yourself doing what you have the passion for. You know that you do very well. That if you're being placed in this particular aspect of it, in the job, let me use that job, let me use the aspect of uh, working, that in this particular profession, you are very good at it. And you're deeply convinced beyond possible doubt that, that this particular aspect is where your destiny lies. Then at the end of the day, you have gotten yourself prepared, seeking for all the requirements, the requirements that, that you need to have to actually uh, make you have an edge over your competitors. Then at the end of the day, this particular job is not what's coming. It's better for me to go for the plans he gave us a reason to look at you, find out what the problem is. The problem might be from the point of view of the method you are using. It might be from the point of view of the line you know. Oh, you can put a line of business in a good site, a good site of business again. There are things that are not supposed to be done in a place. And you are there. You are in odd place. Sometimes you can be at the right place at the wrong time. You can be at the wrong place at the right time. But until you come at the right time in the right place, you will not have prosperity. So I can simply say, come here. We we'll look at you. From we we'll give you certain things to do. When you begin those prayers, you begin to report to our clinic. Then from there. You begin to find out from your dreams the best thing to do.